Hey everyone, and welcome back to another under $5 eShop deals video, where each and every week we go through all the games that are currently on sale on the Nintendo Switch eShop, and as the title suggests, we pick out which are the best ones that you can get for under $5. Now, just as usual, I always give the quick reminder that I don't go over the deals that were mentioned in last week's under $5 eShop deals video. If you want to make sure you're not missing out on any of the games, I always recommend you check out that video because some deals do last more than seven days. I'll be linking that up above. Also, as usual, we'll be doing the giveaway of a $5 eShop gift card. All you need to do to participate in that giveaway is drop a friendly comment down below in this video. After that, Check out the regular eShop deals video on the weekend. I announced the winner in that video. Now this week's under $5 list is a pretty big one with over 30 games to look at. So we're not really going to waste any more time and we're going to get started on the list. Just remember that if you do like the content, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Now the first game on my list is going to be Lumo at 90% off for only $1.99. Now this is a deal that we did look at a couple of weeks ago, but it still has a few days left. Now this is an awesome 3D puzzle platformer with a room based design puzzles. And basically with over 400 rooms to explore for only $2, you get a ton of content for a low, low price. So if you're into puzzle platformers for this week, this is probably one of your top choices. Now, next on the list, we have Dex that is also back to 90% off for only $1.99. Now, this is an awesome 2D action RPG set with a cyberpunk tone to it. What is awesome about this game is although it's an action RPG, it is not a linear one. You can actually approach each situation in a variety of ways, and this is really a game that even if it's full price, I would definitely say is worth it. So when you get it at 90% off for only $1.99, it is a huge steal. Now next on the list we have Sekanoid, which is a twin stick shooter meets room based puzzle game. And honestly, if you enjoy twin stick shooters with a twist, this is one that you should definitely look into. Number one, the visual aesthetic in my opinion is very attractive, with a mostly black and white design with little splashes of red here and there right at the right moments. But secondly, it is a very challenging game that will test not only your reflexes but also your memory, because basically getting through this game is all about memorizing each and every room and how to get through it. Now next we have the Daddish series that is also back to 80% off for only $1.99. Now both Daddish 1 and 2 are on sale, we're not going to look at them individually because overall it is mostly the same explanation for both games. These are very simple action platformers but that are extremely extremely well designed. They take a simple design and they make it very appealing with 50 levels in each game and the second one even having a couple of auto runner levels thrown in. If you enjoy simple but fun action platformers definitely check out Daddish and I would say even Daddish 2 is the better pickup of the two games. Now next on the list we have Goblin Sword, still at the $1.99 price point because it is 60% off and you'll see that this week the $1.99 price point is actually quite stacked. But talking about Goblin Sword, this is a 2D action platformer with a ton of replayability to it. I would say the standard campaign is not that long, but this is a game that I regularly go back to to do another playthrough session using different weaponry and different approaches. It is a game that is very simple, but yet again, very, very much fun. Now, our next game to look at is going to be Blazing Beaks, once again, $1.99 because it is 86% off. And this is a roguelite twin stick shooter, and I say it every time I talk about this game, this is one of my favorites currently on the system. On top of it, it is open to up to four player co-op. It is tons and tons of fun with some beautiful pixel art work and on top of it some really responsive and tight controls. I really enjoy this game and I would say that if you're into the rogue light twin stick shooter genre and you don't know what to pick up for this week, give Blazing Beaks a try. I would be highly surprised that you'll be disappointed. Now the next game on our list is another one that we talked about a couple of weeks ago but has its deal winding down and that is Earth Atlantis at 86% off for $1.99. Now this is a shoot 'em up with an underwater exploration type of gameplay and the visuals looking like they're hand drawn 
are quite amazing in this game. And I would say for the art style alone, this game is worth a pickup at $2. But on top of it, it has some really fun and really, really interesting gameplay behind it. So if you're once again, you're looking for a game to take a chance on for only $2, I definitely think Earth Atlantis deserves some attention. Now, next on the list, we have Hue. That is a quite amazing puzzle platformer at 80% off for only $1.99. Now, this is a puzzle platformer with a quite original premise where you manipulate the color of the background to make your way through the different obstacles. But not only does it have an original premise, it is just incredibly well designed. If you're into platformers, puzzle platformers, definitely give Hue a try for this week at $2. This is a must pick up game. Now next, we have Akane, that is back to 60% off, once again, only $1.99. Now this is a truly great arcade style game that has you slashing and shooting your way through wave after wave of enemies, eventually you get to boss fights. This is an awesome game for some pick up and play action. Fair warning though, it is quite challenging. So if you get frustrated easily, this is maybe a game to stay away from, but if you enjoy that pick up and play challenge, Akane at $2 is a definite pickup. Now next on the list, we have Wrecked High Octane Stunts at 66% off, once again, $1.99. Now this is a game that I love to suggest for some pick up and play multiplayer fun, because ultimately this game is not to be taken seriously. It is a game that basically has you playing through these neon environments and doing crazy stunts with a variety of cars that obviously don't have very realistic physics. But overall, if you're picking this game up with a couple of other people and you just wanna have a fun for a couple of hours, this is a great game to have in your collection, especially when you pick it up at only $2. Now, next on the list, we have Mana Spark. Back to 80% off for only $1.99. Now this is an action RPG with roguelike elements. And this game is once again going to be coming with a challenging game warning. Don't pick this game up if you're not into challenges. However, if you are, I guarantee you, you most likely will not be disappointed with Mana Spark. And what is awesome to know about for this week as well is the DLC is also 50% off. Meaning that if you're into the basic game before the sale runs out, make sure to pick up the DLC for only another $2. Now, next on the list is another game that I regularly mention, which is Robonauts, back to 50% off, once again, $1.99. Now, this mixes platforming with twin stick shooting, and it has some pretty decent visuals to it. The only downside I really found to this game is it is a little bit short and it doesn't have as much content as maybe some of its competition, which is why it's great to pick up when it falls to $2. At $2, I wasn't disappointed at all with what I got. If you need any more convincing, this one actually has a free downloadable demo. Now next, still at that $2 price point, like I told you, it is massive this week, the deal's at $2. We have Coloro at 80% off for only $1.99. Now this is another puzzle platformer with some really, truly beautiful visuals. Not only that, it has some really solid addictive gameplay to it as well. So once again, if you're looking for a puzzle platformer to pick up, you don't want to spend a lot of money. Coloro at $2 is another steal of a game for this week. Now, next on the list, we have Coffee Crisis at 80% off for $1.99. Now, this is a retro styled 2D beat em up. And I would say that I enjoyed this game quite a bit. I do want to mention, however, I did recommend this game a couple of times in the past and some viewers have come back with mixed results. I will be honest with you, this game does get quite difficult in the later stages and it is a maybe a little bit more repetitive than something like a huge Streets of Rage 4. However, nonetheless, for $2, I felt that this game was very much worth it. The only thing, as I said, for that difficulty level, it is a game much better played in co-op because it's as if they don't adjust the difficulty when you're playing alone. So if you have that other person helping you out, you will have a much easier time in the later stages. Now next, we have another very addictive game at that $2 price point with one strike that is back to 60% off. Now this game is extremely simple with samurai style combat and you can probably tell by the title 
pretty much everything is dealt with in only one strike. But as I said, what really is awesome about this game is the addiction factor. Each time you finish a match, you just want to play another. And this isn't a game you're necessarily going to sit down and play for five hours straight, but you're going to want to pick it up every now and then and try a couple of matches. This is also another game that has the DLC on sale this week for only 99 cents extra. So if you do pick up the base game and you fall in love with it, make sure to pick up that DLC before the sale is up. Now next on the list, we have Miles and Kilo that is currently 70% off once again at that $1.99 price point. Now this is a game that I regularly get mixed up with its predecessor Kid Trip. But what is great about Miles and Kilo, contrary to that other game, is this game actually has two ways of playing through it. You can play through it as an auto runner, which is sort of like the hard difficulty. However, if that is too much for you, you can actually play through it as a standard 2D platformer, which makes the game much more approachable, I would say, for an everyday audience. And that's something great to see about a game like this that its predecessor did not have. And if you want the style of this game, it feels a lot like an old school adventure island. I love this game if you're looking for a really simple 2D action platformer. And once again, this one has a free downloadable demo for this week. Now we are finally at the last game at that $1.99 price point with Charge Kid at 20% off. Now this is actually a game that I fully reviewed on the channel and I gave my rating of a hidden gem. And I find it is the true definition of a hidden gem because number one, I can't believe that its regular price point is only $2.49. However, fair warning, this is a puzzle platformer that is not only challenging, it is extremely challenging. And if you're not into trying stages 20, 30, 40 times before getting through them, Charge Kid is maybe not a game for you. But what is fantastic about this game is how much they do with some extremely simple mechanics. However, you have to control those mechanics extremely precisely. Now next on the list, we're going up by a penny with Super Faust 2 at 80% off for only $2. Now this is by the same developer as the Daddish series. However, it has a roguelite design and it controls totally differently. I'm going to call this a platformer, but it has almost a pinball-like mechanics to it, having you bounce left and right with the different bumper buttons or the left and right on your controller. And ultimately, you have to smash into all your enemies. You can jump into mech suits. Basically, this game is another crazy game that I gave a hidden gem to because at only $2, it is a fantastic, enjoyable time. Now, also at that $2 price point, because it is 80% off, we have Death Ray Manta SE, which is a bullet hell twin stick shooter with an arena like design. What I really find amazing about this game at $2 is honestly the visuals. Now, if you can put up with the crazy neon colors, this is extremely appealing to your eye and the gameplay is very, very solid. Just fair warning, it is a bullet hell, meaning that it gets quite, quite challenging. Now next, we have another game that has its deal winding down this week with Figment at 87% off at $2.59. Now, although we mentioned it a couple of weeks ago, it is definitely worth mentioning one last time to make sure that as many people can pick this game up as possible. Now this is a top-down action adventure game, sort of very loosely like a Zelda type adventure, having you solve puzzles, fight enemies, and it has a very engaging storyline set in the human psyche. So honestly, if you're looking for that type of adventure game for this week, definitely check Figment out. Now next, we have a new entry that I just tried out this week, and that is the Walking Vegetables Radical Edition at 80% off for $2.59. Now this is a roguelite twin stick shooter that is actually quite pleasing. I was surprised by this game, I wasn't expecting much and I actually had a ton of fun with it. Only thing, some of the enemy designs do become repetitive after a few stages, but nonetheless there were tons of stuff to love in this game. However, I would say that this is a definite game that I always would wait for a sale to recommend. At $12.99 with some other competition out there like Enter the Gungeon, I would definitely say that this game is a little bit under it, but at $2.59 it becomes an excellent pickup. The only hesitation I have this week is Blazing Beaks is also on sale, and if I had to choose between those two games, I would probably go with Blazing Beaks, but nonetheless, this is another awesome option if you're into the art style or you've already played that other game. 
Now, next on the list, we have Trine the Enchanted Edition at 75% off for $3.74. Now, fair warning, the whole series this week is all on sale for the Trine games. And if you're looking at picking them all up, don't start picking them up individually. There's the Trine Ultimate Collection, about $15, which is the best way to get all of the four games. If not, there are three games that are under $5, and if you already own some of them, it's maybe the perfect time to pick up those that you are missing. If not, if you just want to give the series a try or you just want one game because you don't have more than $3.74 to pick up, I would definitely say that the first one is an excellent place to start. Now, this is an action adventure game that has you basically solving puzzle by swapping between different playable characters. It is an amazing game. Honestly, at $3.74, it is a steal. Now, next on the list, we have Crypt of the Necrodancer, the Nintendo Switch edition at 80% off for $3.99. Now this game is so good, it actually made the regular eShop deals video on the weekend. It is basically a roguelite, rhythm-based dungeon crawler. And I say it every time, but what proves to you that this game is quite a phenomenon is it is so good that Nintendo actually handed them the Zelda franchise to make a Zelda version of the game for Nintendo. It is truly amazing. If you're into roguelite dungeon crawlers, definitely check this game out. It is worth the $4 investment. Now, next on the list, we have Tiny Lands at 33% off for $3.99. Now, this is a game with a really original premise. It is basically find the difference between two environments. But rather than being static environments, there are 3D rendered environments that you can fully manipulate, you can rotate, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. And let me tell you, these are challenging. Some of the differences will actually challenge you quite a bit, so this isn't necessarily a kid's game. But what is even more amazing about it is the white noise inspired music that accompany all the stages. Because this is a great game for winding down at the end of the day if you have trouble getting to sleep. I made it part of my regular nighttime routine to play a couple of zones and really help me fall asleep. Now next on the list we have trying 2D Complete Story at 75% off. This one is $4.24. We're not going to take too much time on it because it's pretty much the same explanation as the first Trine game. This is a very good entry in the series. Just make sure you don't want to pick them all up because as I said earlier, the Ultimate Collection will be cheaper if you pick them all up at once and you get all four games. Now next on the list we have Child of Light Ultimate Edition at 75% off for $4.99. This game also comes with another quick warning. There is a pack currently combining this game and Valiant Hearts that we'll look at in a couple of seconds, both games for only $7.50. It won't be on this list because it's over the $5 price point, but if you're looking at picking up both games, forget about them individually, get the pack, it is cheaper. However, if you already own one of the two games, or if you're only looking at picking up one of them because you're not interested in the other, then Child of Light is an amazing deal at $4.99. It is a 2D platformer with RPG-like combat and some truly amazing visuals. It is a definite steal at $5. Great game. Now, while we're on the subject of that other game, Valiant Hearts, here it is at 75% off, also $4.99. Now, this has more of a 2D action setting than the previous game, so it's not RPG-like combat, it is more action-like combat, but it has a really heartfelt story about friendship through war times. It is an amazing game, again, with some stunning visuals. Same warning, just make sure you don't want to also pick up Child of Light, because there is a bundle on sale now that is a better deal than each game individually. Now next, also at that $4.99 price point, we have Velocity 2X at 75% off. Now this is another game that was so good, it also made the weekend list. It blends stages that are shoot 'em ups with 2D action platforming. But what is great is it blends it almost seamlessly with some really fast paced, challenging action, but that wants you coming back for more and more and won't let you give up till you actually complete those stages. This is truly a very, very good game. If you don't know what to pick up this week and you're into challenging arcade style games, definitely pick up our Velocity 2X. I'm guaranteed you won't be disappointed. Now, the last game we're going to take a look at for this week is Trine Treat. Now, we looked at the other two Trine games that are under $5. This one is 75% off at $4.99. I am going to give a warning, however. Out of all the Trine games, in my opinion, this is the weakest entry. If there's one of the games you can skip, it would be Trine 3. 
However, if you're picking it up to complete your collection, it is on sale and it is not bad to the point that it is a bad experience. It's just make sure this isn't the first one of the collection you pick up because it might leave a weaker taste in your mouth than what the series deserves. So that is pretty much it for our under $5 eShop deals list for this week. Now I know it was a huge list and that $2 price point is extremely competitive for this week, but it's great because that means that for under $5, you can even pick up two games and have a ton of fun. As usual, let me know what you picked up this week and if there are any games missing on my list or games that you would like to suggest to me to try for a future week, leave them in the comments down below. Also, I want to take a couple of seconds to really thank the channel supporters that have already signed up and that are helping out the channel a ton. The membership is open. You can always check that link out as well in the description of the video down below. And lastly, just on the way out, don't forget that if you do like this content, best way to support the channel, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.